Welcome to AWS What's New. I'm Jeff Barr. I've got three cool launches to share with you today. First up, IAM Access Analyzer helps you to control access to your AWS services and resources. It uses automated reasoning to look for new and updated IAM policies, and it analyzes the permissions that they grant. You can review the findings, and you can modify the policies to further reduce access if necessary. We launched Access Analyzer with support for S3 buckets, KMS keys, SQS queues, IAM roles, and Lambda functions. In today's news, the IAM Access Analyzer now analyzes resource-based policies for AWS Secrets Manager. This is going to help you discover secrets that can be accessed publicly or from other accounts or organizations. You can reduce access, and you can maintain our least privilege model. This is available to you at no charge via the console and the APIs. To learn more, you can read the what's new. Amazon Lex lets you add a conversational interface to any application. You can use the automated speech recognition and the natural language understanding that power Amazon Alexa and use this to build chatbots, virtual agents, and other types of applications that can benefit from engaging and lifelike interaction. So what's new? We updated the Amazon Lex console to make it even easier for you to build and deploy your bots. You can add new languages to your bot at any time, and you can easily navigate between different languages. You can also save your work as you go. We've improved the APIs in the data model. Versioning now takes place at the bot level instead of the resource level, making development easier and more productive. And finally, there's a brand new streaming conversation API. It supports better handling of pauses and interruptions. To learn more, read Martin's blog post and the what's new. You can use the Amazon Chime SDKs to build all sorts of real-time multi-party communication applications. The SDKs make it easy for you to add messaging, audio, video, and meetings to your web, iOS, and Android code. Applications include telemedicine, remote learning, remote assistance, gaming, unified communication, and retail. So today's news. You can now add screen sharing to your Android and iOS applications. This allows your participants to share their mobile screen with others and to view shared content. To learn more, read the what's new, check out the Chime SDK. And that's all for today. As always, we look forward to your feedback. Send us an email, a tweet, leave a comment below. To see some more videos just like this, Subscribe to our channel, click that bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.